Hi, welcome to today's vlog. Today I have the W020 soprano saxophone from Yanagasawa. The W020 is the replacement to my 992 soprano saxophone, which for me is the best sax soprano saxophone, I should say, on the market today. I picked this out of a room, well, out of about 25 different Yanagasawa sopranos, and Yanagasawa make the best sopranos in my mind. Anyway, so what I'm interested in doing is finding out how the W020 compares to the 992, and I thought we'd do a little bit of a blindfold test, see if you guys can pick a difference, see if I can pick a difference. But first of all, let's get the thing out of the box. These are the things I have to do to get you a good thumbnail. Anyway, um, so 992 W020. So what's different about the W020? I've had a blow on this uh, back at the RMCM saxophone day up here. This is the most expensive finger pointer ever. Again, similar to the W010, the W, hang on, the W020, this is the 992. They both they feel basically the same way. Anyway, um, they feel remarkably similar. Um, it's had a re-engineered bore, so internally there's a lot that's changed. Externally, there's a change in the mother of pearl keys, a bit like there was on the uh, W10. They've reshaped the pearl keys, which do feel better. Uh, there's a new change, change to the pinky key down the bottom, and there's lots of other bits of engineering that have gone into it. That is basically trying to build on what is already an amazing saxophone. And I've said this before, and I, I realise there was a few comments in the previous ones. These are expensive. But what I would say to you is that BMW and Mercedes cars are expensive because they're very, very, very good. They're of a very high quality. Yes, they're still cars, they go from A to B, but there is a quality difference. But a few years ago, I decided I was at a, a juncture point where I was basically thinking, did I change my car or did I upgrade my IT? I opted to upgrade my IT and then my car failed, which was a real disaster. Um, but one of the things I noticed when I went to try the new 3 Series BMW versus my old 3 Series BMW was that how much the new one felt like the old one with a few more refinements. In other words, as a driver, you know, if you're used to driving that particular model, the new upgrade ought not to be a huge change from the previous one if the previous one has been good and you've really liked it. A new designed front F key, the new side keys again are in a much better condition. Um, the lower keys down here and the pinky keys, as I've already said, are much better. Uh, there's a ribbed construction, there's loads of engineering things that... If I'm brutally honest, I don't really notice. I'm not really an engineering person, I'm a musician, but obviously when you play it, you notice the difference, and that's the most important thing. So let's put these things together. Uh, let's go kind of one against the other. Very, very quick blindfold test, and then I'll go into more depth uh, about what I like about, or what I don't like about this new W020. Letters and numbers.
what an utter mess. Maybe you're watching this in a few years' time and everything's sorted and the country isn't in a complete, utter, hopeless standstill, but let's get back to this Yanagasawa. So I hope you voted uh, which one you preferred, maybe which one you thought was the more modern one, which one you thought was the older one. Time to reveal which was which. The first one I played was my 992. <laughs> And the second one, of course, was this one, the W010. Now, initially playing it, I've got to say, I found my own soprano far easier to play because I'm used to playing that. I'm playing that every single week, hopefully sometimes even every single day. But certainly, I've been playing that same soprano for six years now. It's my soprano. I know my way around it. I know what it does. And I certainly feel so free on it. It disappears, as it were. Remember, that's what I've said before. Great equipment doesn't exist. However, I've got to say that this one, and again, as testament to the amazing engineering of Yanagasawa, straight out of the box, it plays brilliantly. Like, the low notes are so easy to play. Low B flat, not even an effort, not even a, a smidgen of a squeak or anything going wrong. It just plays beautifully. All the way up to top G. Again, barely any effort required to get those really high notes, really low notes. And if you've been playing the saxophone, even for a short while, you know how difficult that can be. That's part of the reason why these things cost a lot of money. There is a great deal of superb engineering, lots and lots of research, just amazing build quality that goes into making a phenomenal soprano saxophone. A phenomenal saxophone full stop, but especially something as complex as a soprano. And Yanagasawa have got it nailed. Now, I love to play it, it's very easy. Do I prefer this to my 992? I don't know. It's a very, very close call because my 992 has, I've been playing it now for six, seven years. I think it's had one little service. This is brand new. So the engineering, of course, is phenomenal on it. And there are certain elements of this that I like about it because it's so easy to play. There are certain elements of my 992 because I've owned it for a long time that I really like because I'm so used to playing it. If I play this for three or four years, I may fall in love with it again. But definitely a bit like the W010, they, they seem to be incremental changes you know, kind of not reinventing the wheel because the wheel's already amazing, kind of just moving it on a little bit, moving it on a little touch. So, if you're playing like a student soprano, maybe like a Yamaha 475 or a cheaper soprano, this is going to be a huge upgrade. If you're already playing a 992 like I am, if you've got the money and you fancy spending some more money in upgrading, why not? There's definitely a difference there, it's definitely a slight improvement, and I think playing it for a few years will really make to tell the difference. Am I going to change? I'm probably going to stick with my 992 for now because I know it. And with Soprano, it's very much getting to grips with it, getting to grips with how it sounds. That's not to say this isn't a phenomenal horn. So, final conclusions. Again, another five-star Soprano saxophone. It's got a five-star price tag. I realise that. Um, but, you know, save the pennies. Good things cost money. Um, but again, and if I was choosing between the W020 and the W010, this is the one I would choose over the other one. Again, I think that bronze body just gives you a slightly darker, richer sound. It's similar to the 992, which was the sound I was going for in the first place. I, I reserve judgment on whether this is now the best soprano ever, um, because the 992 for me is. It's definitely close. I wish I could hold on to it for six months and find out. Thank you very much, Anagasawa, for letting me do that. Let me know uh, what you guys think. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm going to go and play outside now. Now, it is my very humble opinion there are not many things in the world that can't be solved by sitting in the garden and having a cup of tea. With that in mind, it was interesting just listening back then to the tracks. Definitely the newer Yanagasawa has a, a more centred tone, a little bit more focus to it that I didn't quite pick up whilst playing it, only when listening back, editing it, going over and over and over and over the video clips there for you. So there is a bit more of a difference. So towards the end now, I definitely say, hmm, I'm definitely interested. And it certainly is a phenomenal soprano saxophone. So thank you very much for watching. Make sure that you are subscribing. Make sure you check out my last video here. Uh, this is what I was up to at this time last year. I will see you later next week with a Q&A 
and maybe a full review of that hockey um, neck strap that I did for you. If you've got any questions for me or any comments, please do let me know. I'd love to do a full on Q&A vlog and let me know who you'd like me to have on for some coffee with Dan. I need to start planning some coffee with Dan for maybe some cups of tea in the garden with Dan would be more appropriate, but it'd be great to hear from you guys. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.